Stop spending money on overpriced video editors, especially the ones that are labeled as free, but then put a big watermark over your video. Not cool. That's why today I'm gonna share with you the top five video editors that are 100% free, safe to download, and are great for editing from anything to gaming to in real life videos. So jumping into number one, we have Clipcham. This is a free video editor created by Microsoft that you can download by either going to the Microsoft store or going to clipchamp.com. This software is compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it also has the ability to be used right within the web browser in case you don't wanna download the software. You can create a new video project from scratch or even using one of their many available templates. You can easily add files to your project either from your computer, OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, and Xbox even. There's this cool AI voice generation feature, so in case you're not comfortable speaking on your own in your YouTube videos, you can use this Boy, I got nothing to say to you. Thanks. Adjusting your project orientation can be done in just a couple clicks. Clipchamp also comes with all of the standard editing features that you would expect in a video editor, such as being able to cut, trim, delete. You have the ability to add auto captions. There's plenty of free music and sound effects you can use as well as stock videos. When you're ready to export, you can do that up to a 1080p quality and then have the option to either save it to your device upload it to your OneDrive, or even to your social media platforms. I do wanna add though, if you have a premium Microsoft 365 account, you're gonna get a bunch of additional features to use in Clipchamp, including effects and transitions, as well as one terabyte of storage to use in OneDrive. As for some cons using Clipchamp, it doesn't have a lot of advanced editing features to really elevate your skills in the long term. There's no motion tracking, you can't keyframe, there's no audio filters to be able to improve the quality of your audio. Luckily, we have some free video editors out there that can do this, such as our next one on this list, Video Proc Vlogger. This app is compatible with Windows and Mac computers and can be downloaded by just going to videoproc.com and going to their video editing software section. Just like the previous video editor we covered, it has all of the primary features that you would expect in a video editor. Videos can be dropped right within your multi-format timeline and what's nice is that you can see the audio waves of each track, something that Clipchamp didn't have. You can also do your keyframing effects to do those zoom in, zoom out features or to change points in certain areas of your video. There's also speed ramps that you can apply through the different available presets. You get solid color grading features. Editing projects in 4K and even 8K are also options using this editor. You also get a multitude of effects and textiles that can be added to your video. And I think the biggest beauty with this editor is that there's nothing in here that you see that needs to be paid for additionally. It's all built in and it all can be used. As for some cons regarding this editor, there hasn't been many new updates as of late, really since 2022. Hopefully we get to see some new improvements soon, but as the editor stands today, it's absolutely excellent, especially for the price of free. So you can't go wrong with Video Proc Vlogger. The third free video editor on this list is CapCut. You knew this editor had to make the list because it's one of the best free and easy to learn editors that you can possibly use. This app goes hand in hand with TikTok. So yes, you can use it on your mobile devices, but even more importantly, you can use it on your Mac or Windows computer. You can create new projects at the single click of a button. The timeline is very easy to navigate with the different sections being clearly designated for if it's an audio track, video, or a picture in picture overlay. This editor of course comes with your typical split, trim, and deleting clip features. With the video selected, you can go to the top right hand side and modify its positioning. You can add keyframing elements to it. Probably one of the coolest features that I've discovered within CapCut is the ability to synchronize clips. Why is this feature so amazing? Well, if you have a face cam or maybe a second angle to your primary video clip, well, you can synchronize the audio so that way whenever you're editing, all of those components will stay in alignment together. And then later on in your video edit, you can just go back to choose which clips you want in your edit without the worry of the audio being unsynced or having to do it manually, for example. There's an auto save function so that you never lose your video project progress. You can export up to a 4K 60 resolution. And then there are plenty of effects, stickers, transitions, 
filters. You can leverage one of the best free auto caption tools out there right within CapCut and apply a multitude of different text effects right to them. Another great thing CapCut has is a massive music library, many that are royalty free that you can even copyright check to be sure if it'll work for your video. But what if I told you you could use popular songs without the fear of getting a copyright infringement? Well, that can be possible with today's sponsor, Licked. They have the biggest catalog of music that creators can use for their videos on all of their social media platforms, including here right on YouTube. You can get access to thousands of instrumental tracks, a royalty-free catalog, but best of all, you'll be able to license over 1 million popular songs from artists like Nicki Minaj, Drake, Marshmello, Dua Lipa, all while being protected from copyright issues. Back in CapCut, I added a song from Lick to my edit, and check how this turned out. If you ever gonna let me know, yeah. Suicide if you ever try to let go, uh. I'm sad and all, yeah. I'm sad and all. Pretty cool, right? If you're looking for a specific vibe in Lick's platform, then you can use the search functions by modifying the genre, mood, tempo. You can also sort your search results by popularity. They even have hundreds of curated playlists in the browse section to find even more music. So sign up to Lick today using my link here and get a 14 day free trial as well as 50% off your first mainstream chart track. Let's jump into video editor number four, and that's Caden Live. You can download this video editor by just going to kadenlive.org. This will work for Windows, Mac, and even Linux computers. Similar to the other editing apps that I covered in this video, you can easily import your clips and drag them onto a multi-format track timeline. With the clip selected, you can go to the bottom right-hand side and see all of the editing control options at your disposal. There's dozens of effects, transitions, and even color correction options. Caden Live also comes with an automatic backup feature so every few minutes your project file will be saved so that you don't lose your project in the case of a crash. And depending on the files within your project, you can export all the way up to 4K60. Now one of the only main cons of using Caden Live is that if you're using a Mac computer that is a silicon chip, so M1, M2, M3, there isn't direct support with those machines. You will have to run the app through Rosetta which isn't as efficient for your computer. Last but certainly not the least, if anything, it's probably the best on this list, that editor is DaVinci Resolve. This free video editor can be used on Windows, Mac, Linux, and even iPad OS if you have one of the newer iPads. You can download this video editor by going to blackmagicdesign.com, scrolling to the bottom, and selecting the free download now button. This video editor has seven primary sections laid out that you can see on the bottom. First section being the media, which is where you'll import all of your files to your project. Next to that, you have cut, which is easier for trimming and cutting specific clips. Third is the edit section, which is just your main multi-format timeline. Next to that, you have your Fusion tab, which is just a built-in compositing software to do more advanced effects and transitions if you wanna do that. You also have the color tab here where you can build out a node workflow to get pinpoint control of your coloring. Guys, I kid you not, DaVinci Resolve has probably the best color grading features that you could ever expect to have for a video editor. It's next level. The sixth tab here is Fairlight, which is a digital audio workspace for mastering the sound design of your projects. And then the last tab you have here is your render queue for rendering your projects back to back to back to back if you have a lot of projects, for example. Some additional cool features you'll get out of DaVinci Resolve is a dynamic zoom effect. So instead of manually having to place keyframes, you can open up the transform menu to select dynamic zoom, and you'll get a start and finish box to set where you want your zoom effect to begin and end. There's live saves and backups so you never lose your progress, and you can export up to a 4K60 resolution all within the free version. I know a lot of those features that I just mentioned can feel a little bit overkill if you're just trying to do basic video editing, but DaVinci Resolve accomplishes that with quite ease. Like you don't have to learn the advanced things if you don't want to, but the beauty of this editor is that you can have room for growth if you're trying to get better at video editing. You can start at the bare minimum doing the basic things and then just work your way up to doing more advanced techniques. Having an editor as powerful as DaVinci Resolve is, you're gonna need a good computer in order to run this program. Otherwise, you're not gonna get 
get the expected performance and reliability that you would want. I know we didn't go into great detail on everything that each of these editors can do, but I highly recommend to you guys to watch tutorials and leverage the informational resources that your editor has to elevate your skills because it will be worthwhile over time if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel or any other social media platform that you're posting videos to. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.